there were three airframes that 56 Squadron provided that were going to be basically good for the season. We had to look at jets that had a good reliability record. We had mm. to look at jets that weren't going to get dragged out in June, July for a major servicing uh, and all that sort of stuff. Um, so having flown the jets and really put them through the paces, Matt chose ZE-732, which was the jets Alpha Sierra. And then it's great, the Queen gives you a jet, you know, for like 17 weekends. And now you've literally got a blank piece of paper with a silhouette on F3 and some colored pencils. Nice. So now you can do the paint scheme, uh, which is great fun. Now, the thing about the F3, it's got a huge fin and we didn't really want to attract attention to the fin and make it any bigger. <laughs> so we went for our own paint scheme. We had some ideas and it was sort of like, Waldo Pepper stripes. If I can pick up a picture, it's probably a good yeah, way to absolutely. describe Go it. For it John. So that was the scheme. So what we wanted to do was accentuate the dart shape like sort of outline of this aircraft. So we painted the outer bits of the tailorons in the red. And then we had these red sort of like Waldo Pepper stripes on the wing. And the idea was at 67 wing with the wings fully back, that red would align and show more of a dart like profile of the aircraft. And we had this on the top and the bottom surface of the wings. We put the uh, 56 checkers on the top of the fin. We wanted a band on the base of the fin as well, but that wasn't allowed because it was by a primary heat exchanger, and they said the heat from that would blister the paint. It's a bit of a, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> um, we put a bigger sort of squadron Phoenix onto the fin, and of course we had our names on the jet. The jet went into the paint shop. That was a three week job. Really? The paint people were magnificent. Wow. Superb. This is a big job, you know, it's extra to their normal stuff. So they had some beers. And then, because I'd worked with him beforehand and he was a bit of a mate, we got in touch with John Dibbs. And this is how we got the photos done. So our EXO on 56, very supportive. We had three trips. We went to Valley with a jet straight out of the paint shop. Picked up the Hawk, uh, Andy Gent was the, 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 uh, the, the photo ship pilot with uh, Dibsey in the back. Weather was horrendous, so we end up over North Yorkshire doing the stuff. Drop into Leeming, and then we do another trip after that. And these are the photos. I love these pictures. I've just noticed the pylons are also red. Yeah, we kept the pylons on, but we painted them red. Yeah. And the reason the pylons were red was before, when it wasn't displaying, this was, this was still a functional OCU jet. So you'd have to put the acquisition round for the Sidewinder on just for training purposes. Right, got you. Brilliant photos. I love <laughs> these pictures. John <laughs> yeah, I know. And it gave us lots of freebies. It was a really good day out <laughs> doing these photos. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah.